Not me. There is a room to swing a cat in here. Well, if you're not happy, you know where the door is. Well, I might just use it. Nicola would be happy enough to have me down at hers. Well, maybe you'd all better go and live down at Nicola's. Would you two leave it alone? You're like a pair of kids. <sighs> you still not found your wallet? <sighs> no. Have you cancelled your cards? Not yet. Well, you'd better. I will. Happening in the world outside? Nah, not much. What like problem pages do? They're all right. It's good to have a laugh at little folks' trouble, isn't it? So what's the funniest one today then? Haven't read them all yet. No? Which ones have you read? Just a couple. <laughs> See this one here about that guy from York falling over with his teacher? Yeah, I saw that one. Can't believe Katie's going out with a divvy like you. What are you talking about? Look at you. Not the same dress sense as Dad. Get lost. I'm telling you, it'll be check shirts next. What did I say? Uh, you two gonna be here today? Yeah, I've got a revision. Why? Well, I need you to look after Victoria. And where are you going? I'm going into Hotton. What are you going there for? Well, just get a few bits and pieces. Who's going to look gorgeous in the christening gown that Mummy bought? Is it you? <laughs> yes, it is. You off? Yeah, Mum's not in today and there's a few things to do before we open. Is it your day for visiting your old people? Yes, it'll be her first visit, won't it? <laughs> They'll love having a new baby around. Oh, I bet they will. You can take her every month. If it goes OK. You don't mind, do you? No, of course not. I think you're lucky that you can take her to work with you. I hadn't thought of it like that, but yes, you're right. Anyway, I'd better go. I don't want to be late. Have a lovely time. Mm -hmm. Go easy on those old people. <laughs> See ya. Bye. You know, it's always good to see young people enjoying a nutritional breakfast. Uh, what a stink. What have you got in there? This, ladies, is ardent nights. I could think of another word that rhymes with nights. <laughs> no, no, don't I? I have very sensitive ears. Well, I've got a sensitive nose. Will you get them out of here? This, I will have you know, is one of the finest perfumes from Le Parisien Boutiques. Where'd you get it? A very reputable dealer. Oh, it's not off then. Me mate, Kev. He had a whole case that was shop soiled. Dodgy Bob strikes again. Hey, hungry work is it, this revision? Does your mum know that you're eating your way through a stock room? Well, it's just a couple of packets. Don't say anything, eh? My first loyalties have to be to my wife. Oh, Bob, please don't tell her. You wouldn't be interested in buying a bottle of Ardent Nights, would you? Morning, Diane. How's the life of leisure going, Jack? Life of leisure, I wish. Where are you off to? Just going for a walk. Why are you not working today? Not cut the day off. You don't fancy running to Hotton, do you? Oh, not really. I fancy some fresh air for a change. Why, what are you going for? Oh, not much. Just a few things. So you might fancy a look around. You're not going for that makeover you were talking about yesterday, are you? Don't know. Might buy a few new clothes. We want my hand picking stuff out. No, it's all right, Diana. I can sort Come on, out. then. You're going to have to stand me lunch, though. I haven't got my purse. Well, I think I can stretch to that. Hey, I might find a hat for this christening as well. Let me get my checkbook ready, then, eh? I've, uh, I've run out of so much stuff. Right, that's £18.64, please. Right. Um, 15, 52. I don't have rest. Well, you can leave your shop in here while you go and get it, if you like. I best not. I'll, uh, I'll put some up back. Hey, you don't have three quid, do you? Three pounds twelve. No, I've only got sixty pence for the milk. Why? Look, I'll just put some up back. But I've rung you up now. Well, can't we just take it and we'll pay the rest later? It's not a charity shop, you know. It's, it's all right. I'll just put it back. I'll take uh, milk and uh, nappies. So there you go. You all right this morning? Yeah. I looked in on you, but you were fast asleep. I feel a lot better, thanks. And did you talk to Jason? Yeah, we, we sorted a few bits out, but I just wish he hadn't found out the way he did. Well, he's a good lad. It'll all work out for the best. If it's one thing I can't stand, it's sponges. What's wrong? It's just those daggers trying to pull a fast one. Would you mind looking after the shop this afternoon? I've got to go to the cash and carry. Another trip already? We're nearly out of crisps. I don't know where they've all gone. Our fizzy drinks. Either we've sold a lot or we got mice. Donna, you haven't been eating them, have you? 
Do I look like a mouse? You better not have been. It seems like a simple case of supply and demand, my love. How do you mean? Well, you were smart to see a gap in the market. You supplied a wider range at lunchtime. And the demand has rewarded your business acumen with an empty stockroom. Is that a good thing? I'm sure it is. Yes, pause for you. I'll be from my Jackie. Not for you. No, I'm just going to get on finishing this. Not going to open it? No. I'll look at it later. What? You've learned how to read? I can read, you cheeky get. What do you think I am? Stupid. I never said that. So why do you keep hassling me? I just think you're trying to hide something, that's all. I'm hiding now. So what about that guy from York, the one in the paper? What about him? Well, you said she read it. So what? Made it up. It wasn't a guy in the paper at all. He just had a copper or something. No. You sure? Yeah, he's a lorry driver. Are you having trouble sleeping in that shelly too? No, I'm fine. Just resting my eyes. There's always room at my house if you need a bit of space. No, I'm fine, thanks. Has anybody seen Jess? I thought she was revising with you. She's not at the chalet. Oh, she said she couldn't concentrate up here, so she's gone down to my house for a bit of peace and quiet. I'm just going there. Do you want to come? Oh, yeah. All right, then. I'll just get my stuff. See you later. I thought you lot would be used to living in confined spaces after all those cosy family holidays together. And who's been telling you about that? Just did. Yes, well, don't believe everything she tells you. She told me all about how you met. You and Phil. That has nothing to do with you, OK? Are you all right? I am sick of her. I'm sure she didn't mean anything by it. She's just trying to help out. <sighs> Things are bad enough with work without all this aggro with Jess. Do you want me to have a word with her? Who, Jess? Yeah, let her know how you feel. Try to sort things out. No. It'll just get back to Nicola that I'm struggling and I don't want to give her any more ammunition. So what's Jackie saying, then? What's it got to do with you? Listen, guys, I didn't mean to upset you. So why do you keep pushing it, eh? I'm not. It's just... Well, maybe you could get some more help. I don't know, maybe some extra classes or something. Who from? You. It's nothing to be ashamed of. No. Well, maybe if you were made to stand up in front of class and laughed at it because you couldn't do it, you'd think different about it. Bet you've never had that problem, have you? Folk writing you off because they think you're thick. You're not thick. I can see why you ended up in here. You're not a very good liar, are you? Listen, Gaz, I know plenty of folk who can read are a lot thicker than you are. Yeah? Well, they must be really thick then, eh? I was only trying to help you. Yeah, well, I don't need your help. I don't need anybody. Now clear off. Clear off! Set then. I think so. Taxi beer in a minute. There you go. What's this? Present from Zoe. Aaron's phone number. She sends a love, by the way. Apparently she spoke to him and he couldn't shut up about you. I'll have to give him a call. Maybe I'll get back to my normal life after my little swing the other way. I'll come here, you. Oh, cheers, Paddy. <laughs> give a love to Emily, yeah, I will do. Jess, is that your taxi? Well, I guess so. Make sure you come and see me, yeah? Oh, of course we will. Yeah. Hello? I've got someone who wants to say goodbye to you. Ooh. Goodbye, little fella. Make sure you bring him to see me, yeah? If you want me to. Of course I do. Just um, give us a ring when you're settled and we'll just get the bus over. Make sure you do. I will. Take care of yourself, yeah? I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> Me too. Bye. See ya. 
<sighs> See y'all. <laughs> Did they said? Plenty of something. Where have you lot been then? Been on the swings, Uncle Victoria. What have you been buying? Oh, just a few clothes. Are you gonna show us what you got then? I'm <laughs> not getting them out of here in the street. Well, it's inside for a fashion show then. Oh, good idea, come on. No way. Come on. Fiverr says it's all check shirts and jeans. Angie. Okay. Hmm. How's it gone today? Yeah, all right. How's Mark keeping? He's all right, thanks, Donna. Any lad? Yeah, he seems to be keeping his head down and getting on with things. I'll have to write to him. Yeah, you should. He'd really like that. Listen, I meant to ask you, why don't you come up and see him next week? I'm not sure, Lam, with, you know, just being back at work and that. That's a shame. I'll write to him, eh? Next best thing. Well, it's not as good as seeing his mum, is it? No, all right, Len, I will think about it. See you later. Bye. See you, darling. Get back to work. I'm on the way, boss. You man in the fort this afternoon, Bob? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your mum's just nipped off to cash and carry. Ah, gonna get some booze for the party, is she? What party? I like it, a surprise, huh? Ah, I don't know, is it? <laughs> well, you, you are having a dinner or, or something for the celebration. You don't know what he's talking about, do you? Yeah, 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 the party. What party? I don't know. <laughs> well, if it's yours and Mum's anniversary on Monday, you Nelly. Please don't tell me you've got nothing planned, mate. <sighs> I completely forgot. Oh, well, that's divorce for you then, isn't it, eh? She won't let him off that lightly. Yeah, right. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Well, you have got all weekend to get something planned, so... Yeah, look, I I'm skint. Maybe you should try selling some of that perfume. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, bet Diane doesn't take this long to get ready. Oh, that's hey. lovely, that. Hey. Don't like Des Lionel. Hey. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He looks like one of them blokes out the catalogue. Give us a twirl. Diane? Oh, come on. Victoria would like a twirl, wouldn't you, Pet? Yeah. Well, what do you think? You look all right. Just all right? Yeah. Well, you've been wearing the same clothes since I was born, so I didn't know you knew how to buy anything else. Oh, Diane helped me pick this stuff out. Where's your jacket? On the chair. Oh, come on, we might as well have the full makeover. Oh, Diane. <laughs> it's a lift. <sighs> well? Nice. Yeah, right. Doesn't make me look too young, does it? No. Did you help me pick that as well, Diane? No, your dad chose that himself. You don't say. <laughs> Found it. Oh, thank you so much. I was really beginning to panic about this. It must have fallen out when I hung your coat up. Jess and me found it earlier. Is she back down at your place? Yeah, I think she's going to stay over tonight as well. I don't blame her. Things are a little tense around here just now. Well, if you need to talk, the door's always open. Well, that's very kind of you. It's the least I can do. Are you sure you can manage, Mum? Because I can stay a bit longer if you like. No, no, you go home and have some fun with little Gabby. Woo! Who's this handsome stranger? Bernice, have you put your dream into retirement then, Jack? Just fancy a bit of a change. You'll be growing a goatee next. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, how are we this afternoon? Look out, salesman about. Seth, you are a very privileged man. Am I? Yes, you are. I'm about to let you into one of the modern world's best-kept secrets. 
Seth already knows about Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> With Valentine's Day fast approaching, we men need to think about how we're going to woo those special ladies in our lives. And for those of you without love, now is your chance to find it. Gentlemen, I reveal to you the promise of ardent nights. Mm. <laughs> smells like sheep dip. <laughs> sheep dip to your insensitive nostrils, maybe, but to the ladies of Milan, Rome, Paris and Madrid, this is the smell of seduction. And how much are you asking for it? In the boutiques of Bond Street, it retails at over £50, but I can offer it to you for five. Five quid for that? Go on, give me one. Don't waste your money, Seth. A woman can tell the difference between a cheap imitation and a genuine article. Isn't that right, Diane? I'm sure they can. We'll let the lady be the judge. If Bet doesn't like it, you can always use it for trailing hounds. <laughs> 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 yeah, go on, then I'll have one of those as well. <laughs> Jack? No, thanks. Hey, nice jacket. It won't work, Bob. I'm not going to buy one. <laughs> no, seriously, I like it. Where do you get it? Hot. Very trendy. You know, I think Scott's got one just the same. <laughs> oh, hi. Are you all right? Yeah, fine. What's that smell? <laughs> Don't ask. You know, um, I think I will go and see Mark next week. Good. Because I thought you were going to back out, to be honest. Yeah, well, I wasn't sure it has to be said. Well, it'll be all right. Look, we'll get you in some plain clothes and nobody will know what you do for a living. I just don't want to mess things up very much, all. You won't. It'll just be good to see him. Mm. Hmm. Do you read a lot? A bit? A lot more since came in here. Passes the time, eh? Yeah. Look, Mark, I'm sorry for shouting at you. It's just that I get so fed up. Look, I wasn't trying to wind you up or anything. No, I know you weren't. I've got these letters. I've never read any of them. I was just thinking, wondering, maybe if you had time that you could read them for me. Are they from your girlfriend? Yeah. Well, what, do you want me to read them and then tell you what they say or read them out loud? Could you read them out? Yeah, I suppose so. Dear Gary, things here are much the same as last month. Uh, haven't been out much and the weather hasn't helped. Still miss you and your silly talk. Go on. I was down at our bus stop last week and thought about you and your little whispers and your special kisses. Look, guys, I think you should learn to read these for yourself. Why? Because it's private, isn't it? Well, just do it and then keep it to yourself. Well, you'll have to teach me. I can't. Well, nobody else is going to. <laughs> is it bath time already? Yeah, I thought I'd just put her in quickly before I do the tea. Tricky, those little buttons, aren't they? Especially when you're kicking like David Beckham. Yes! <laughs> is it bath time? Yes, it is. And who's up there? Is it Mr. Duck? There we are. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done that. What? I jumped in like that. No, it's okay. No, it's not. I'm taking over. <laughs> oh. Ashley, it's fine. She adores you. Maybe. But she adores you too. And you need to spend time with her. Now you go and bath her, and I'll prepare the tea. Actually, no, I'm quite happy to do the tea. Oh, please, it's only fair. Go on, it'll do you both the world of good. <laughs> so we'd gone back to Blackpool as usual and, uh, well, everything just fell apart, really. Well, it must have been so difficult mm. for all of you. Well, it was good in a way because me and Maggie finally got together, but uh, it was a nightmare at the same time. What's going on here? Nothing. Um, Nicola brought my wallet back. She found it at the house. Must have dropped out while Phil was fixing my car. I'd best go. I'll see you both later. 
What are you playing at? I'm not playing at anything. Oh, what's she doing here? I told you she brought my wallet back. Maggie! Guys, I'm sorry, but I've never taught anyone before. But you can read, can't you? Yeah, but it's not the same as teaching. Well, who taught you? Well, I don't know. Somebody must have. Look, I've never really thought about it. I just picked it up while I was at school. It was you who told me to get help. It wasn't easy asking. I don't ever know when they're laughing at me. Guys, I don't know. If you don't want to read these, we could start with the paper. Nicola! What are you playing at? Playing at anything, Maggie. I will not have you messing with my family. Jess isn't your family, is she? She's as good as, so you stay away from her. Listen, I can't help it if some members of your family need to come to me to have a bit of time and space away from you, can I? I will not have you messing it up. It's not me that's messing it up, love. It's you acting like a lunatic. No wonder Phil's all mixed up. Oh, and you stay away from him, do you hear? I haven't given up everything for you to go and ruin it all. Do you think I'm having an affair with Phil? Because if that's what you think, you've got my taste in men all wrong. I have a better looking pets than him. What? If I hear you've been seeing Phil behind my back, I'm going to make your life a misery. Oh, you already are, so no change there. I'm warning you! Listen! I am not having an affair with your man. But, well, if he isn't getting it at home, then he's going to play away sooner or later, isn't he? You of all people should know that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a bar to run.